Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install Apache Cassandra on your Ubuntu operating system. The prerequisite of installing Cassandra is you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So just verify if Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. Just open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T or you can just uh, go to your applications and then click on terminal which is going to open the terminal and here you can verify the version of uh, java by just giving java hyphen hyphen version command and if it returns some version of java you're good to go so now let's go to our browser to install cassandra so just open your favorite browser and search for install cassandra and the first link which will appear here will be from uh, cassandra.apache.org latest uh, getting started uh, link. Just click on this link and here you have the procedure of installing the Apache Cassandra on different uh, operating system or different distributions, right? So prerequisite here is you need to have Java 8 or Java 11 installed. So you can see uh, Oracle Java Standard 8 edition should be installed or Oracle Standard uh, Edition 11 should be installed or you should have higher version than these two versions. If you don't know how to install Java, I have already created a video on installing Java on uh, Ubuntu operating system. I can put the link of that video also in the description so you can uh, see how to install Java. Once you have Java uh, installed, you can move down where you will see installing the Docker image, which we don't want, installing the binary tarball, which we don't want, but we want to install Cassandra using the Debian packages, right? The first command we have already uh, given and verified that Java is already installed on our Ubuntu operating system. So we are going to go to the next command, which is this command, right? So I'm going to uh, copy this whole command and in my terminal, I'm going to paste this command and then press enter and give my Ubuntu's password, which I use to log into my Ubuntu operating system. Now it says uh, this DAB is not found. Why this is uh, complaining about this? Because you can see on the uh, Cassandra website, uh, this command is broken into two lines and this doesn't work, right? So let's fix that problem. So just copy this command once again, go to any editor of your choice and then just go to the second line and then press backspace here and then press space, right? So now we have added this dab in the same line as the whole command, right? In this web page, this line is on one uh, line and then we have the second line whole command should be on one line right so that's what uh, i have done so i have given space and then added this dab in the same line copy the command once again and i'm going to paste this command once again so i'm going to paste this command and then press enter and hopefully this will work so once that is done i'm going to clear my terminal and then move to the next command, which is this command. So let me copy this curl command. I'm going to copy this and paste it into my terminal. And it's going to fetch these keys here. Let's move to the next command, which is sudo apt get update. So I'm going to give this command here and then press enter, which is going to simply update the package indexes, right? Once that is done, the last command is to install Cassandra, which is sudo apt get install Cassandra. So I'm going to just uh, paste this command into the terminal and then press enter and then press Y and then press enter. And it's going to start the installation of Cassandra. So once Cassandra is installed, it's installed as a service on your Ubuntu operating system, right? 
So you can see Cassandra uh, installation command is successful. So I'm going to clear the terminal. And now, first of all, we need to enable Cassandra and then we need to start the Cassandra if it's already not started by the installation command. So for that, you can uh, first of all give this command sudo systemctl status and then Cassandra and then press enter. And you can see right now the status of Cassandra service is it's active and running. If you see any other status like it's disabled or it's stopped or uh, it's not active, then let me show you what you can do. So instead of checking the status, you can enable Cassandra by giving this command, which is just enable Cassandra, right? This is, go this is going to enable the Cassandra. You can see Cassandra service is not a native service, redirecting this to this one. Because Cassandra is already enabled, this hasn't done anything in my case, but if it's not enabled, it will enable the Cassandra. Then we just need to start the Cassandra by just giving sudo systemctl start and it's going to start the Cassandra, right? Once that's done, you can once again check the status of Cassandra by using sudo systemctl status Cassandra command. And if it shows active and running, everything is working for you. So you can start using your uh, Cassandra cluster on your Ubuntu operating system, right? So now for configuring Cassandra. So now Cassandra is uh, installed, the service is running. So let me clear the terminal and for the configuration, there is a file called Cassandra YAML and you can edit that file using sudo nano command or you can use the editor of your choice. I'm going to use gedit for now. Then forward slash etc Cassandra and then Cassandra YAML file dot yaml file then press enter it's going to open this cassandra yaml file here all the cluster configuration of your cassandra cluster is given so cluster name is test cluster for now and then uh, number of tokens and other uh, configuration is given here right so you can uh, change uh, these configurations from here. For example, if you want to change the default port of Cassandra, right, you can uh, change that from here. So this is the YAML file, which you can use to configure Cassandra for you. Okay. Okay. So uh, you can uh, do the configuration in that way. Now, how you can interact with your Cassandra cluster. When you install Cassandra, it comes with CQLSH uh, command utility, which is Cassandra query shell, right? So just write CQLSH here and then press enter. And it's going to connect to your Cassandra cluster. By default, uh, it has started on 9042 port on localhost and here, you are now in SQL SH uh, shell, right? The most basic uh, command is help. You can just write help here and it's going to give you uh, all the commands uh, related to Cassandra, which you can use. So you can see uh, create index, create aggregate, drop, uh, create role, create key space. All these commands are uh, present, right? So CQL is similar, but not exactly same uh, as SQL. It looks like a SQL uh, query language, but it's not exactly uh, a SQL, right? So for example, I'm going to just write uh, help show, and it's going to give me the description how I can use this show command. So for example, I can use show version. So let me use this show version command and it's going to 
give me the CQL SH version, Cassandra version, and CQL spec version, right? I can also use this show host command and it gives me the default host and port, right? If I want to create a key space, I can uh, give this command, which is create key space and then the name of your key space. And then you need to give the replication strategy. For now, I'm going to use a simple strategy. There are various different strategies which you can use. And the replication factor is one in my case. I just want to test it, right? I will press enter and then this key space is created. Now in order to use this key space, just write uh, use and then the name of your key space, which is test underscore DB in my case, press enter and then you are inside this key space, right? So now you have created the key space. Let's create a table inside this key space. Key space is similar to a database. Now let's create a table. So table creation command is similar to SQL command. You can just uh, write create table and then your table name. Let me change this name here because this name is not correct because I wanted to give different name. This is the DB name, right? I will give test table here and then give this command. So just copy this and paste this command and then it's going to create our table, right? Then in order to insert the data, you can use this uh, insert into the table name and then your uh, column names and then you have the values, right? So I'm going to just uh, copy this insert command and paste it here and then press enter. And it says uh, error for server, unable to make uh, int to this, right? So let me just make this int value little bit smaller and then once again give this insert command because my phone number was little bit bigger, right? So once that's done, you can just write select asterisk from and then your table name. My table name is test table and then press enter and it's going to show me my data, right? So this is how you can download and install and use Cassandra on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.